Hello, my name is Conan Elliott and I'm Director of Instruction here at Camas Meadows Golf Club in Camas, Washington. Today we're going to talk about how to hit a golf ball further. Well, believe it or not, it's not about power, it's not about arm speed, it's club head speed. Club head speed is developed by the turning of my big muscles rather than the swinging of my arms. But the number one factor is how square can I hit the golf ball. In other words, can I make the golf ball the golf club strike the golf ball right smack middle of the club face. If I do, then I transfer all of that speed of the club to the ball. I cause the ball to compress against the club face, expand outwardly, and I have very little side rotation, which also causes me distance loss. So one way I do that and the materials that I use in this is, of course, a club and a ball and a tee, but also what we call a face plate. We just lay a little piece on there that actually, when I hit this golf ball, it's going to mark it so I know. A lot of that, when I hit the golf ball to the ends, to the toe a lot, usually that swing path or wristy, or it could be that the club is too short. When the club is too long, I tend to hit the golf ball to the inside of my golf club a lot. Both tremendous power losses out there. So I want to get it as close to the middle of the golf club as I can hit it. That's the first thing in hitting it far. Second of all is understanding that the golf swing is about centrifugal force, about creating a circle around my spine. That if I got my spines right here, I want to be able to turn to both sides of that spine, keeping my spine here and creating a circle. When I have that, I create tremendous forces out on the head of the club. When I have the instinct or the natural instinct that most players have, which is to use my hands to make it go fast or my arms to try to get it to increase speed, I actually slow down the golf club and usually my fastest point in my swing is before I strike it. So my club is actually decelerating as I hit it. But when I learn to keep my hands and arms quiet and turn my big muscles, I create tremendous forces on the head of the club. All of when you watch a tour player on TV play, you'll see that they don't swing very fast, especially the ladies. You watch the ladies, they look very fluid and, and, and very relaxed in their golf swings. It's because of their upper body strengths being less than men's, they've had to learn even better technique than the men. So the women's technique is often a lot better than the men's technique, although the men's technique has gotten very good today. But it's the fact of turning the big muscles, keeping the little muscles out of play, learning to lag the golf club, which means that we're going to keep the club cocked with the club head lagging at the top, again, using my big muscles to start the downswing, especially from the ground up, uncoiling. If I use my little muscles, my club is fast there, slow through the ball. So I've got to learn to hit it square in the middle of the club face, use my big muscles, and let the club lag behind me in order to hit the ball far. Let's try one. Remember, we're going to work about trying to keep my hands quiet, get a good posture, and make good turns. I hit that pretty good. I don't know if you can see it for sure. It didn't quite hit up in the middle. It hit in the middle, but it hit a little bit low on the sub, and that was because I had that club ball teed just a little bit low. So I got to play with that a little bit. You got to play with it a little bit to find out how high to tee it and exactly where it goes across the face. This is Conan Elliott, and that's how to hit a golf ball further.